Jonas Brothers! There's Joe at age four, always the heartthrob. And there's Kevin, so stylish, even at age two. And okay, don't laugh, that's me. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed about playing music. And now, Kevin, Joe, and I get to live that dream every day. Just like pieces of a puzzle, there are three equally essential members of the Jonas Brothers. Without one, we're just not complete. Nick, he plays, you know, drums, keyboards, guitar, lead sings, piano, you know, everything. And he switches those instruments on stage. Kevin, he's an amazing guitar player. He really is just so energetic on stage. And when it comes to, like, behind the scenes stuff as well, he's the one who's always, like, you know, still pumped about it. I think Joe really brings, you know, the, the strong, like, lead singer, you know, leading the crowd and just being the front man. I really prefer just to be up front and to rock out and, and really connect with the crowd and connect with the fans that came out to see us. So we all have our things that we really enjoy and we're, we don't get jealous of each other because one can do something maybe a little better than I. Like, I can't play his drums as good as Nick, but I think that's his thing. Hey, Jill, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Sharing the stage with Kevin and Joe every night is so awesome. One of the coolest parts of being the Jonas Brothers is writing new songs. Working on maybe uh, writing a song. This is how the beginning process of writing a song happens. We work hard together as a group. You know, we play ideas off of each other. Sometimes we're like, okay, we have this idea, we need to write it, and then boom, it's written. Sometimes it takes you a while. Um, the ones that write, themselves are the ones that you know are just like, yes. We write songs about what we and every kid our age is going through. And we always try to tell it like it is. Falling in love, falling out of love is pretty much where you're at in your life. And, you know, just dealing with school, dealing with your friends, just dealing with life in general as a teenager. I think our albums are scrapbooks of who we are. They are a journal, a diary. So if you really want to know more about us, just listen to our music. best songs, you know, that I feel I've written yet are songs that are really just personal things that have actually happened to me. You know, S.O.S. was one of those things. So this is where the snow begins. The canvas is shared. I am a well-concerned. It was my way of venting, I guess you could say. And now all these fans are singing it every night. It's funny that it's so upbeat and stuff, and that's, I think, the reason why people find our music fun is because even if you're, you can sing a song about pain, it's still really fun and, and like, energetic and danceable. The greatest reward is to make music that connects with our audience. So we will keep sharing songs from the musical scrapbook of our lives. Is there a better way to live the dream than that? It's the girl I'll never get.